from an MKC standpoint, it just definitely puts a focus on the next generation of agriculture. Um, MKC believes that's very key to the success of the organization as well as helping those growers be successful. Um, in today's economic times, they need as many tools at their fingertips, programs all the above, and this is just another one of those tools, programs that we can provide for those growers to help them be successful. This program's been really fun for us to come back to each year because we've met people each year, new people, and then we get to reconnect with them, um, as well as just having more time to reconnect with my husband and talk about like the farming issues that we're facing in the future. Uh, I've been attending for five years. I keep coming back because they um, they put always put together a, a wide array of speakers, of good speakers, and a wide array of topics that we don't often get to talk about. Well, I think anytime you bring together young farmers, you, you've got the potential for great things to happen. You know, we, we talk about young farmers in our policy making process in Washington a great deal. Uh, we know the difficulty of getting started uh, in sustaining a farm in America today. Um, my, my message to them and what I hope they always get at is we want to make sure you have the time to do, you know, your, your farming work because that's challenging. But we also need you to, to be aware of what's going on in Washington and how you can help us increase your chances of success and particularly increase the co-op's chances of success in your behalf. And that's going to involve a little bit of your time and engagement, but uh, uh, my message is it's effective when you do. And uh, we want to see more and more producers take the time to be engaged and understand what's going on in Washington. This year, Julian Brown really helped us to start thinking more about our communication skills with each other and developing um, our team as we go forward. My favorite speaker, I think, was Jolene Brown yesterday. Um, she was really an engaging speaker, but then the topics that she was talking about, too, as far as business structures and having things in writing. You know, we, we're in a family business and, and how you balance the family and the business and, and how in today's day and age we really can't just go off what dad always wanted, we should have some written agreements in place. Julian Brown gave us some great tools to take back that we can really sit down and start having more meetings as a family and develop a better um, plan going forward for who's responsible for what issues on each part of the farm. You know, the networking opportunities that a conference like this present are really valuable. Um, different producers and, and different employees and what we see on a on a day-to-day -day basis. And seeing the growers interact with each other, seeing the spouses um, from that standpoint. I'll, you'll see growers from the far north part of our territory talking to the growers in the far south, you know, standing in line at a break or something like that. People come up, shake hands, how you doing? And we know they're 100 miles apart. That's just, that's really cool to see that MKC could provide that opportunity for these growers. Jerry Carroll was probably my, my favorite one just because he did make you forget about all your worries and, you know, troubles and he just made you laugh and told a lot of stories that, uh, you know, kind of relate to you back home and how things are. So it was a very, very good speaker. As farmers, it seems like we spend all winter in production type meetings. I really like this meeting because it's not just about production issues, it's about um, we talk about business structures and succession planning and, and uh, liability management and things like that and that's been really valuable for me as a, as a young producer. During the winter maybe things might be a little slower, this is the opportunity you go back think about those, how to implement those on your operations as we get ready for the spring and summer season. We just really enjoy it. We like getting away and meeting other people that are the same, same as we are, struggles and everything else. Yeah, dealing with a lot of the same issues. I mean today the, the individuals talking about being advocates for ag and how to be an advocate, how to reach out. That's very key with everything that goes on in ag today and how people don't truly understand what goes on out here, you know, on the home front and how we do feed the world. So it's great to have uh, programs like emerging producers to really bring them together and particularly for them to, to hear about uh, what they can do to you know, improve their chances of uh, sustaining themselves in this world of farming, which is always uh, a difficult challenge.